Hi everyone, hope you are doing good. Welcome to the next video on my YouTube channel. My name is Saurabh Bharti, Microsoft Dynamics 360 Web Professional. This is the platform where I come and share my knowledge and experience with you all. So this is the next part in our supply chain inventory valuation series and in this specifically now we are going to talk about the global inventory accounting, uh, reporting and configuration. In the previous part in this particular series, what we have spoken is that what is the global inventory accounting, what it does for us. It helps us in having the multiple valuation in multiple currencies. Now we have seen the kind of like how the transactions reflect in different currencies. Now most important thing is that how we do ha how how do we generate the reports. So before we jump to the report section that how do we generate the reports and how it looks like, it is very important for us to understand that how the reporting configuration works in this. So there is a bit different uh, uh, difference in terms of generating the reports for the global account in global inventory accounting and re uh, reporting, right? So we're going to talk about this. So it's just a quick overview that uh, it allows multiple accounting standards, multiple inventory valuations, and multiple inventory cur mul multiple currencies valuation in Microsoft Dynamics 365. If you remember, uh, our process is in, in in multiple steps. So we have talked about how do you install, then configure and process, and then the reporting. So we are going to talk about the reporting configurations today. So. If I have to divide this whole reporting configuration for global inventory accounting, then it will be in a in a four step process. The first thing is that you have to download a Power BI package from your LCS. I'm going to show you how you can download that. Then we have to import and configure the Power BI report file uh, in our Power BI workspace. Uh, and we, uh, we we add the environment details and we connect that workspace with our uh, Dataverse environment and the Dynamics environment. So I'm going to talk about that. Then we also need to do the app registration of on the Azure portal. I think it is a usual uh, app registration which we need to do it. And uh, once that is done, then we are going to talk about uh, the Power BI configuration in T65 where we will go to the system admin and then we will talk about that how you can enter the details and how you can connect with this app portal which is there and then how you can access the default uh, demo report which is available for global inventory accounting uh, with the package which you have downloaded in the uh, uh, first step. Now I'm also going to put the URL uh, in the description for this where these all these steps which I have highlighted are given there so that if you want to explore by yourself you can explore. So let's go uh, one by one and we will talk about first that how you can download the package from the LCS. So I will log into my LCS account and in the LCS account if I go back to my uh, home page uh, you will see that there is an option for the shared asset library so you click on this and once you click on this shared asset library you can click on the power bi models which are available and here on the uh, the second uh, 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 on the on the second in the row itself you can see that this is a package which is available here so you can just uh, uh, download this particular package and save it to your desktop and the local computer. So that's the step number one, which you need to do it. The step two is that you need to import this package. So you need to log into your Power BI workspace. So like how I have exp uh, logged in right now. And I have already imported uh, the 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 work uh, this particular file, but let me show you how you can import. So you you have if you see it here, uh, I can have my different reports and things which is being imported here, and there are different models which are available here. So here I have uh, imported this particular report. So if I go and see the if I can go and 
uh, open this particular report which I have imported or the package which I have imported here not this one let me just quickly go back to my workspace yeah so you will come it uh, come here and then you will have an option of uploading this file so you can just click on the browse file and then you can import this so the moment you import this you will have this semantic uh, data model which will be available for you and where uh, you have to go to the settings here uh, now this is the model which is available here but how do you uh, connect with your environment so you have got the parameters to be defined and here you need to enter the database a uh, dataverse url and the environment id now how do i get these details so you need to log into your uh, lcs and go to the environment which you want to connect so here you will find the data dataverse url which i have entered here and then if you scroll up uh, on the top you will find the environment id and then you can connect with that environment id and then you can sign up once that is done uh, you can just check your credentials and uh, you can just uh, sign up with those details so you can edit the credential and you can just sign up with your uh, user account so once that is done uh, that's your second part where you have uh, uh, connected with uh, connected the uh, power bi uh, with your package and also with your environment the next thing which we need to do if we come back to our initial powerpoint is that you need to do the app registration and also you need to connect with your uh, you need to provide the different permissions in your in your in your in your azure portal so let me uh, go back and uh, uh, let's see that how i have done this so i'm on the azure portal where i have created a new app global inventory accounting i have the application key available here you need to copy this and then you also need to have the permissions defined for your uh, app which you have created so you can define this here so i have created this and i have also got the secret id here so i will put the i will put the link in the description so that you can follow that what permissions needs to be added and what steps need to be followed here now once this is done we are ready to connect this with our microsoft dynamics 365 environment so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to log into my d65 environment and in d65 if you go to system admin in the setup you will find uh, a power bi configurations available here now if i click on this uh, you will have an option of uh, editing this so you while doing the app registration you will find the application id and the application key which you can uh, copy here and uh, once uh, that is done you can uh, uh, once you can uh, once this is done you can save this and then once you save this uh, it is going to ask for the authentication and then you can authorize this and it is going to be connected with uh, with your uh, power bi portal now once that is done uh, the next thing which you can do it is uh, you can open the report catalog so you have on the top options you have got the open report catalog so if you click on this based on the the catalog which you have uh, deployed or which you have connected with this will be available here so right now if you see that global inventory accounting is available for me and once you click on that you can click ok and then you can refresh your browser and once you refresh your browser you will see the power bi reports available here now if i click on this this is a demo report which is available here and uh, this you can see it from the global inventory perspective we are going to talk about this in the next video that how it is going to reflect what data it is providing us so next thing which i'm going to do is that i'm going to also define the uh, refresh thing so i'm going to create a video in the next uh, couple of days and so that we have this uh, data refresh which i have created here so that's it for this video hope you liked it and this is going to help you in connecting your in connecting your deploying the power bi reports for the global inventory accounting 
in the next part we are going to take one example and see that how the inventory valuation works how it impacts the cost of goods sold how you can see the cost of goods sold and the other inventory value in multiple currencies and then we are going to see that how it is going to reflect in our power bi dashboards that's it for this video thank you hope this is going to help you and see you in the next one